homemade autonomous vehicles are dangerous. Several prominent technologists have already warned against artificial intelligence. Please wait for the establishment to make your autonomous vehicle for you. So it's nice that we get to go up to Oregon, but it sucks that it's an 11 hour car ride. If only there was a way that we could leave at 8 o'clock at night, go to sleep in the car, and then the next morning we wake up and we'd be almost in Medford. You mean like an autopilot? Well, like Google's autonomous car, but they won't sell me one. So why don't we just build our own? We are just going to Oregon. It's a two lane highway all the way there. All we have to do is follow the car in front of us. So we can get behind a semi truck and follow that semi truck all the way there? Yeah, so we can put a webcam on our dashboard. The webcam would look at the semi truck. It would mark where it is, and if the semi truck got closer, it would tell it to brake, and if it got further away, it would tell it to gas. It wouldn't be very hard at all to tell it to steer to follow the semi truck as long as it knows to track the car in front of it. What if it goes into a rest area, though? We, we're not trying to go to a rest area. How, how often does the semi truck go to a rest area? They drive for like seven hours straight. Okay, but. What if someone cuts us off? I think you're being way too pessimistic here. We just need a general idea of what we want to do, and then we'll just go wing it from there. Okay. <laughs> Ready for 11 hours of autonomous driving? No. What are we gonna do if someone cuts us off? I told you. I already have a plan for that. All right. Help me beat the establishment. In the comments, tell me what you need your autonomous car to do.